Well, hello there. Long time no see. It's Tuesday. I think the last time I saw you was last Wednesday. So it's almost been a week. I've been busy. I actually um, had to shoot and edit and make the IG reel for this Whatnot video. Video sponsored by Whatnot. Which if you haven't watched, I'll link up on the screen. But that is going, getting published today. I gotta do that when we get to the office. I am currently leaving my dad's memory care place. And we had lunch. It was wonderful. It's 12.30. I have to head back home at 2.30. So I have a lot to do in a very short amount of time. I've got a big pile of stuff in my trunk and I have got to get it out of there. It's raining. I, when I went to the bins on Saturday, I didn't bring a like bin or a bag to put the stuff in so it's literally just sitting in a pile in my trunk. I want to make like a Instagram reel about it. There's a sound from Star Wars where Kylo Ren, I think that's who it is, says, I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. <laughs> That's how I feel about the stuff in my truck. I mean, I actually really do want to do it because I've run out of stuff to list. And I haven't listed. I didn't list last night, but I might not have listed on Sunday. And sales in December so far, so I think today is December 5th, have been bad. I'm, I need to like do $200 in sales a day. and. I think I've done like 400 this entire month so far. So that's not good. December is typically pretty slow for me as a reseller just because you know, people are not shopping for themselves typically as much and they're not buying pre owned as much. They're usually buying gifts and so forth, which is understandable. But this hurt my business what I have always really told myself to get through these months is list consistently and then come January which is actually usually a really good month for me reselling wise you'll have lots of new inventory stocked up or listed and I had a really good morning um, I, I've had a really good day so far which is great I got up too early Billy Lou was waking up at 7 a.m. Now she's waking up at 6 a.m. I'm not stoked about that. We did laundry together, which is <laughs> fun. Except for, she's usually pretty good at pulling the laundry out of the dryer and handing it to me. But today she really insisted on pulling the laundry out of the folded laundry bin and handing it to me, <laughs> which is very counterproductive. But. No, it's all right. So I guess I'll run in, grab a bin, grab all this stuff, maybe shoot the IG reel. It's like literally gonna be so short. And then go back in the office and I'll meet you there. And then we'll go through all this stuff together maybe. I think I'll just log it and just chat with y'all. And then once I've hung it up, I'll show you what I, I'll do like a mini bins haul. Okay. So, and then hopefully we can get at least five photographed before I have therapy. <laughs> all right, I will see y'all in a second. Okay, well, I thought we would sit on the floor. <laughs> this is usually how I do things. Brought in my stuff. I did take video for the IG reel, posted my YouTube video, and now we are ready to process this stuff. Hey, you know what I could do? I actually have a little more time than I thought because I am gonna just go ahead and do my therapy here. So I don't have to run home at 2.30, I can just work till three. But I have consignment stuff over there. Stuff I took to Crossroads that they didn't accept that I need to go through and log or basically just see like what they didn't accept so I can see what they did accept. Just, I take record of that as well. I have, to, I have to take record of everything. Helps me come up with my cost of goods. And also I just want to go through it and see if there's anything in there I want to try to take to the other Crossroads location or try again. 
you know, sometimes if you do it more than once, they... So today's Tuesday, this is the 5th. So that means Saturday was the 2nd. And how much did I spend? I spent... 54.75. I've got to put some receipts in this little receipt holder that I have, just in case I'm ever audited. 54.75. Okay. That's a good amount of money. I usually spend around 40, so we'll see. Hopefully we got enough stuff here. I tried to get a lot of stuff to take to Crossroads because I kind of decided that, you guys like my pregnant belly? Anyway, I kind of decided that that's going to be my strategy is primarily bins, Crossroads, and then supplement with a good old, you know, regular Goodwill trip every once in a while. I don't know if I want to show you everything now. Maybe I will. Somebody's my computer does this. J. Crew swim trunks. I am gonna sell these. I think they're from a recent season. I might as well just show you now. Could ask Matt. Spring 2019. That was cute. Could ask Matt if he wants those, but I'm giving him another pair that I got the other week. Okay, Champion Windbreaker. I am gonna take this to Crossroads, and then if I can't sell it, then I'll. Or if they don't take it. I'll just sell it. So I'm just gonna create little piles here. As uh, this, uh, this is missing. The little drawstring. Oh no, it's not. Oh yeah. Well, what's this? I don't know. It's, no, I think it might be missing something. But it's cute. It's got this color blocking. Purple, light purple and yellow. So hopefully they take that. Okay. This is a good find. I found a couple of Lulu lemon pieces. These are, I mean, I think they might be older. They still have the pull tag, which is nice. Size 8. Yeah, they're definitely older. I've got this like band, waistband within the waistband in there, kind of a gathered capri. But I pick up everything Lululemon at the bins, so green capri, selling that. I'm gonna try to take these to Crossroads, they're American Eagle, and they're just like like new condition pink leggings, so we'll see if they want those. I don't know. If they don't, I, I won't pick up stuff like that again. And I really wouldn't be surprised if they didn't, but I thought they were really cute. And then taking this, Brandy Melville. This is really cute. It's just a crop top. That's this kind of, you know, eyelet. I don't even know what the, how would you describe that fabric? But I'm taking that to Crossroads. Yeah, if we could like put together a Crossroads, another thing to take in, then maybe I could find time one of these days to go by there. Uh, I don't know what I picked this up for. It's a Madewell tank. This would sell on Poshmark for like $10, $15. I do find that. Another option, I do find that they do sell. Another option would be to hold on to it until I could bundle it and then I would sell it for more. It's extra small. I'm going to take it to Crossroads first and see if they'll accept it. Okay, this is a good one. Maeve by Anthropology. I think it's 1X, 3X. So plus size, and it's really cute. If it was my size, I'd keep it, but it's this ribbed sleeveless mock neck top. This is another Madewell. I think I will sell it. It's a knit button down tank, size extra large. I think I'll sell it, but just because I need inventory, but it's kind of old and I bet it wouldn't sell for much. So I could just take it to Crossroads. I'm pretty sure they would accept it and I could get something better for it. I don't know. That's probably what I should do, but I just need inventory. See how much, if I really don't have that much to sell, which I think I should, then I might pull that from that pile. Oh, okay, this is a good one, Blanky. Oh, I'm tempted to keep these. <laughs> Uh, they are maternity leggings. This is a good maternity brand to know. It sells pretty well. These are in excellent condition. I've sold these a bunch of times. Do I keep them though? I kept these from... Oh, you know what? That's so funny. I shot a thrift with me like reel and I never posted it. <laughs> okay, I think I will since I need inventory and I can list those so easily. I think I will sell those. Okay, let's see what's this. Ooh, All Saints tank. I think I'm just gonna take this to Crossroads because I don't think it's worth much, but I'm pretty sure they would take it. I can check real quick. All Saints, the cool thing about it, Rena tank, is that they have the style name, not just the number, the name on the materials tag. I'll show you in a sec, right here. 
See that? This arena tank. Okay, yeah, it's listed for 30, 37, 25. It's a cropped version, 25. There's a new attack one for 26. Most recently sold new attack for 15, so I think I will take it to Crossroads. Uh, that's what I picked it up for. Okay, one sec, I, Matt is calling. Okay, I moved the camera up because I'm having to bend down. This is, was a good Crossroads find, so I have some good Crossroads stuff so far. It was a new attack, Urban Outfitters. It's a cute cropped tank that also has like this halter, but the actual straps are these stretchy guys. So I'd be surprised if they didn't take that. Look at that, new attack. Did I get anything to sell? <laughs> okay, here's another All Saints. I, I, I think I will sell these. These are Eve Lux jeans. So I know Crossroads would take those and I don't know how much these would sell for, but probably more than $16. So I'll just go ahead and sell those. What are these? Okay, so I think I talked about it last time. I did create a bin for Crossroads summer stuff. This is probably gonna go in there. These are Anthropology Chino shorts. I will, I'm gonna put Crossroads. Cause I, I put little notes, oops. I uh, put little notes where of where things are going in my spreadsheet. This is a Madewell silk dress, I believe. I did pick this up also for Crossroads. I'm not mad about picking a lot of stuff up for Crossroads because it's just so easy to source inventory there. What is going on? Is, this, is it missing a button? No? That's good. It's a size large. I think I... Oh no, this is a romper. I think I looked it up and it wasn't worth selling. I think. Or did I? Let me see. Or no, I just looked at the style number and it's from summer 2016, which usually I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, you know, buy this at a regular Goodwill because it's older. F2494. Let's see if it's worth anything. Petaplay. That's cute. It's a romper. And it's a good size. It's, hmm. Okay, someone has it. Oh, I have an offer. On eBay, yay! Someone has it on eBay for 75. I'm glad I'm looking this up. Maybe it's worth something. It is silk, and it is a romper. Oh, first listing on Poshmark is 12 bucks, but it's a size medium. So, and yeah, maybe that one has issues. Who knows? It's listing price is all over the place. Let's see if I can just put it in size large. Sometimes certain um, styles will be a bad idea to pick up you know in a size extra small for example but a good idea in a size large yeah because right here there's only two larges listed and they're listed for 72 and 75 so if i were to list it for like 40 potentially someone who's a size large actually wants it oh there's also another one listed for 89. let's see what size large has sold for though in the past it's just because it's listed for that 36, 23, 30, 30, okay. 39, 30, 40, 35. See, I think it's worth picking up. I mean, it's selling, so I'm going to sell it. This I picked up for myself. <laughs> it's a, I'm really into long sleeve t-shirts and this one says, stay open to the universe, anything is possible. This is on the back and the front. I don't know if this is anything special. Obsessive love t-shirt, I'm just curious. I really don't have time to check this, but... Okay, I don't... Um, I can't find it. Anyway, I don't think it's worth anything. But I picked it up for myself. Okay, picked this also up. I need to log it. Uh, did I log? I didn't do... Made well silk romper. Obsessive love. Long sleeve tee. Uh, this is like a... What brand is this? Carter's? Cat and Jack. Snowsuit. Okay, so sell, keep, keep. This is a Cat and Jack little snowsuit. I think it's a size 2T. Yeah, so I got this for Billy Lou. So we'll see if it snows and see if this fits her. It looks actually massive, but she's bigger than I think she is. Um, if it snows, maybe we can go play in the snow in that. This is a really cute Madewell tank. I just automatically pick up Madewell at the bins because oftentimes um, Crossroads will accept it. This is spring 2020 though. I think I might just sell it. 
I could check comps. I don't have time to check comps on everything, so I'll just sell it. And if it, I have to list it for $20, I have to list it for $20, it's fine. These Levi's 501 shorts, cute. I think I'm just gonna list them. I could also take these to Crossroads, but what size are they? 24, they're really, really cute. They're a little bit longer, I like that. These also, I'd have to put them in the summer bin and take me a while to get a return. So I think I'll just go ahead and sell it. I picked this up for me. I like these bras, I think. <laughs> I have, I got one of the bins before. It's a true. I'm just, I like bralettes, but now with pregnancy, things are changing. So I don't know, but it's good to just have those. This is a cute little Beyond Yoga cropped tank. I did pick this up to take to Crossroads, but I kind of want to check comps. Or should I just list it? The style is SO, SO4382. Is that an O or a zero? I think it might be an O. Is that it? Yeah, this is it. It's the Space Dye Slim Razorback Crop Tank. It retails for $68, so maybe it is worth picking up. Yeah, okay, the first few listings, 60, 50, 40, 45, 44, 45. Okay, well, that's it. <laughs> that's enough for me. It is a size extra small, so it might sell for less. Oh, I've got a, these are a loss. Literally, while I was pushing my cart to the freaking, where is it? Push my cart to the, to the, I mean, I could list it, but I don't think I'm going to. Okay, these are a loss. While I was pushing my cart to my car, I saw the flaw in these and I was like, dang it, why didn't I not look it over closer? These are Peter Millar pants. They're at Goodwill for $12.99, but they have this hole like right in the front knee and I just, just don't think they're worth listing. Let's see if I get some cash out of it though. No. Usually, I think this. I think Goodwill employees go through the pockets. So if it was at Goodwill, you, I don't think you usually are gonna find money. I'm mean, just mark that as a loss. I, I feel like that's just a big enough flaw that I don't. I don't even want to go to the trouble. This is Everlane Thermal. It's really cute. I wonder if it's like a part of a pajama set. I don't know. Maybe not. Could be. Could be not. <laughs> Here's the style number, I'm just, okay, so the Everlane Thermal, I'm gonna sell that, I'm not gonna look it up. This is a brand that is uh, from a French store. I couldn't find anywhere in the United States that sells it, but I thought, why don't we pick it up and see if Crossroads wants it. It is Thompson. Uh, it's a really cute dress. So we'll just see, because I think oftentimes with, it's got a few loose threads. Oftentimes with brands that they aren't familiar with, they'll look up. And when I was looking it up, I mean, you know, it's a Parisian, like, basically, brand. So maybe they'll want it. Well, maybe it's cute enough, cool enough. I don't, want it. don't really want to sell it, but I guess if they don't want it, I will. This is a Bowden ribbed cardigan. I'm selling that. These are some frame jeans. I think they're men's. No, they're women's. Les garçons jeans. Les garçons. Not gonna look that up. Good enough for me to sell. What did Goodwill want for them? $7.99, that's not too bad. Did look this up in the store. And this, I think I'm gonna be able to list for like $100. It's Ronin, which is a Burton brand. And yeah, when I looked it up, everything was listed for like at least $100 or around there. I think everything was listed for over $100. So. It's a snowboarding jacket. So excited to find that. My camera is gonna die unexplainably. I just put a new freshly charged battery in and for whatever reason, I guess the battery's not working. So that's unfortunate. So I might have to leave you in a second and meet you later when I am photographing. This, I was on the fence about picking up but decided to go ahead and try it. Um, We'll see. I've never sold this brand before. Nakitano. I couldn't, there's no stock photo, so I'm gonna have to make sure my photo looks okay. But I think it should sell for like $30. 
And then here's a pair of Athleta leggings in great condition. And they are from winter 2018, but I think I decided to go ahead and pick them up anyway because they're pretty classic style, I think. Oh, this is Lululemon. And um, it's a sweater, which is really nice. Uh, everyone passed on it because it doesn't have a label, but it does have a little Lululemon emblem there. It does have a couple of holes in it though. I'm assuming it's a wool. And I just, I, when I was, I found a bunch of stickers at the bins, which was good because Billy Lou is obsessed with stickers. And so uh, I took a couple stickers and just put them, like that's a baseball sticker, put them where I found the holes. I found two holes, but in there actually in One's an armpit and one's on the sleeve, and they're pretty small. So I'll definitely still list it with that. And this is Zara turtleneck. I think I'm gonna take this to Crossroads. It's cute, it's got like a puff sleeve. Okay, while y'all were gone, a tornado blew through here. <laughs> and I am so overwhelmed. Here, let me just show you. Got piles after piles. I went through the crossroads stuff and went through everything else from the bins. So I actually, so I got a lot of shoes. I'll show you these eventually, you know, when I'm listing them or something. And then I found some other stuff that I'll show you all later to sell. Like this really cute Madewell sweater with pom-poms on it. And I got another lemon piece and an another athleta piece. But what I need to do now, and then this is my whatnot stuff I need to move. It's luckily all steamed and prepped for the show, except for I need to still stain treat those white jeans. I need to move this. And then I think I'm just gonna organize this real quick, like, you know, put it in better piles, <laughs> essentially. And then pick out five things That'll be easy to photograph and photograph them. I have about 45 minutes. I also have to use the bathroom. So that is my plan of attack as of now. I'm gonna set you on the tripod and we're gonna get to work. My seamer's still going, but I turned it off. Uh, I got my five things ready. What time is it? I don't know, but I actually did all of I got everything organized, got them ready all in eight minutes, so that was good. Now I'm gonna go use the bathroom and then we are going to photograph these things real quick. If we have time, you know, it'd be cool to measure and inventory them, but I'd be surprised. Okay, I slipped these bionic slippers on that I got at the bins <laughs> because I really wanted to run to the bathroom and um, I didn't wanna put my boots on and Pretty sure I'm keeping them. <laughs> They're so comfortable. There's my camera. Oh my gosh. I actually have been wanting slippers. These were size 10. I wear a size nine, but actually they fit. So that's probably due to my feet swelling from pregnancy too. I'm not mad about it. They're so comfortable. Okay, let's get this show on the road. I need to set a timer so I don't, you know, Miss my appointment. Just make a reminder, I have to post that Instagram reel. I'm definitely gonna forget. My life consists of timers. <laughs> okay, let's get this going. You know, could I photograph all five of these? I picked like the easiest things to photograph. I picked little tiny tops. <laughs> these are like extra small and um, they're all little. Like I picked a pair of shorts and then the Bowden. I probably need to grab the lint roller for that. I'll move you over here. So it's possible I could get these listed. I mean, these photographed and measured within a very short amount of time. Maybe I shouldn't have picked black. It's kind of messing with me. Uh, okay, that looks a lot better. Should have got a new roll. You know, don't be stingy with your lint roller. Make it work for you, or work for it. It looks scratched. Oh no, are you kidding? Shit. How did my lens get scratched? 
Oh wait, it's not scratched, there's just something on it. Oh no. Okay, definitely not gonna have time to measure now. I'm making this so much worse. Oh my gosh. Oh, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> wait, look at this photo I just took. <laughs> no, stop, help. SOS. How do I clean a camera lens? This is probably not what you clean it with. What got on there? Oh God. Get actual cleaner, like glasses cleaner or something. Okay, well, that looks a little better, let's see. Yeah, oh my gosh, it looks awesome. Black items have been the hardest for me to photograph by far. Mm, they're just so high maintenance to lint roll, photograph, but I mean, I'm not gonna like not pick up black items. Probably the, is that what happened? I hit it, this could be very well what happened is I got freaking hit the lens with my lint roller. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not gonna not pick up black items because it's probably the most popular color in terms of items like, and then maybe like blue jeans. So it's just, just part of being a reseller is dealing with all the issues with black clothing. You have to think like, all these other clothes have to be covered in just as much lint and stuff, but you just don't see it because it's not black. I mean, certainly it can't be that black items just attract more lint. Yes. All right, that's the speed I need to go. All right, last one. This is a small, oh my gosh. In what world should be an extra small, but oh well. I don't make the rules. I need to like a tape dispenser over here. I need to get another one. If I find one at the bins, I should pick it up. I guess I could just get like a regular roll of tape, but the tape dispenser makes it so much faster. Gotta adjust the volume on that mat. All right, we photograph five items, so we will have items to list this evening, which is all I ever wanted. We won't have measurements to put on the listings, but I can get those later. I'm gonna upload photos now. But yeah, pretty productive day. I am happy with what we got done. Cause I did go through the crossroad stuff, even though <laughs> I, that was not part of the plan, but I just, I really want to get that done. And I'm glad I did. And so maybe now I can go to crossroads this week. All right, I'm gonna go find these photos somewhere. <laughs> On this. But anyways, we're gonna end the vlog here. Thanks so much for joining me today. Short work day, but got a lot done. Yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I have, I don't think I have any interruptions in my work day. So that will be nice. And it's in the afternoon, so I can work, hopefully, you know, from 12.30 to five, have a really solid work day. Maybe get all this stuff photographed. That would be great. And, you know, who knows? No, let's just aim for that. <laughs> don't, don't, uh, Maybe get the IG reel posted. No, I'm posting another reel. Okay, get it edited. Actually, you know what? Tomorrow I'm gonna have to stay and treat some things. So I'm gonna have to stay and treat and then come here and photograph. So it'll be an interesting day. Anyway, <laughs> this was today. Good day. Thanks for joining me and I will see you on the next one. Okay, love y'all. Bye.